Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now today William Ruto is on his development tour or working tour of Meru County, though we know this is a political platform that normally gives Ruto time to go and continue to lie to our people about development. So he's in Meru today, and in his visit to Meru, a lot is being exposed and the focus here is not more actually on uh, the development that Ruto has brought to that area, but his defenders and Gadda Gashagwa, his contact with Gadda Gashagwa. It is the one that is playing out. So it's no longer even about development. For example, Ruto took a bus to uh, it Meru it, Mitungu Technical College. Kazia bus ni Kazia president kwe. Even if you are giving a gift, but he went there to give a bus. We don't know if it was from the NGCDF of Meru uh, Imenti, that cement constituency. We don't know if it is from uh, NGCDF of Imenti constituency, but it's just going there to launch. We are not sure. If it's a donation from the president, and if it's a donation, is it his own man or what? But these are things that are supposed to be done with a member or by a member of parliament. So there are some books that are finally But Ruto went there for that. Then the issue of a milk plant and all that. Of course, there's a development function when it comes to agriculture. Governors need more money. But he's there. But then, the other video we were discussing the body language of Rigatha Gashagwa and William Ruto in the bus. This time it was Ruto, that time it was Ruto driving the bus. But now here, Ruto, uh, I want us to look into the speech by Rigatha Gashagwa in the presence of William Ruto and uh, how people are receiving Rigatha Gashagwa in Meru in the presence of one William Ruto, which is a very clear indication. At first place, when Ruto was launching the milk plant, something like that, he called on Gada Gashagwa to address the people. Gashagwa, who used to speak a lot, decided only to address people in 28 seconds alone. Ni muite tepiti wangu kwa narigari Gashagwa, awasalimie, alapu, mionyesane hawa biyongotu wengi. Andomea toko keni, Secondly, when Ruto called on Gata Gashagwa to address the crowd at Mitungu Technical College, Gashagwa spoke for, now this one was more, in fact he spoke for 40 seconds. But my focus is not on the 40 seconds that he talked. My focus is not on what he said. My focus is on the reaction of the crowd at that event. When Gashagwa was called for her to speak. The people who were there, they were clapping, they were happy, they were calling on the Gada Gashagwa, Rikiji, Rikiji. That was the kind of welcome Gashagwa received. A warm welcome. Now, imagine all this is happening at a time when the difference between Gashagwa and William Ruto is growing. When it is a clear in public that there is a breakup between Ruto and Gashagwa, then you go to uh, Mount Kenya region, and this is the kind of treatment they subject Gashagwa to in your presence as the president. What is the meaning of that? What message was the people sending to William Ruto, and what message did Gashagwa have for William Ruto in his most short statement? We want to look deeper into that. But just a quick request, for those who are watching and who have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our returning subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. 
Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, if there is anything that Ruto is looking for, as of now, from Uganda Gashago, when it comes to Mount Kenya, it is rejection from the people. Ruto is rejecting Gashago by the fact that he was trying to block him from this Meru event. He is rejecting Gashago by the fact that he has rallied members of parliament to rebuke Gashagwa, he is rejecting Gashagwa. By the fact that he is, you know, uh, mobilizing members of parliament to contradict Gashagwa, it is a rejection of Gashagwa. So what do you expect the public to do? Because you can buy members of parliament to play some role here and there for you. He anticipates members of parliament also to reciprocate the same. Reject Gashagwa. But the opposite just happened here. Gashagwa was welcomed. And, uh, you know, the youth one, he is a darling of the youth. Rigiji, 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 and they're clapping for him in the presence of Ruto. That means Meru people recognize Rigata Gashagwa as one of their leaders. This is coming clear from this video. Whether it was organized or not. And of course there can be a possibility that this thing was organized. Because we know every time Ruto got to Mount Kenya, Gashagwa used to organize women to sing for William Ruto. They were in uniform and they were on a payroll. So it was drama that forced William Ruto to have no any other option but Gashagwa as his running mate. So Gashagwa might be organizing of course on the ground to have people to clap for him. But the fact remains that the, 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 the perception that brings, the perception here is that Meru as a community recognizes Kashagwa as one of their leaders. They welcome him. That has come clear in that video. But the expectation of William Woodrow was that I am the one taking development to Meru. Therefore, I should be the one being celebrated here. But instead, they are not celebrating William Ruto. They are celebrating Gashagwa. All this is coming at a time when Gashagwa is being frustrated, mistreated, and even stopped from performing his duty and responsibility. Remember the issue of Chopa, military Chopa, and Anjima Ndege Yakuenda Huku Kurudi Huku. Hana. So, Sympathy might be working for Gashagwa because when he seems to be the most oppressed person frustrated by this administration, then people, especially from where he comes from, are going to sympathize with Gashagwa and maybe sympathy is winning. Gashagwa might be enjoying the sympathy from these people who are clapping for him, welcoming him, calling his name, they are sympathizing with him. They are showing their sympathy toward him. It is a message to William Ruto. Gashagwa is one of us. Frustration to Gashagwa is frustration to one of us. That is now another message that Ruto has to take note from. Remember, uh, uh, Nani Kitura Kindiki has gave a warning that any gathering that seems to be tribal, I don't know how you really do deal with this. How do you arrest people? Because they're speaking about their community. He's going to stop it by every means. That means that Gashagwa should also prepare for tear gas. So before you bring tear gas to Gashagwa, just check how people are receiving this same Gashagwa. Before you think about tear gassing him. So, Frustration to Gashagwa may just turn into a blessing if these people will not handle this issue properly. It will turn into a blessing to Gashagwa whereby you might be saying that he don't have a party and one day before 2027 when he formed a political party he might have numbers behind him. It's a message. So the people are communicating to William Ruto. 
Gashagwa is also communicating. Imagine he decided he doesn't speak for 28 seconds. In his own backyard. Gashagwa maipajua na wangeka da kambili tano kumi hata kumi na tano. Asifuruto kapisa. But his speech was very short. He don't want to speak too much. Because if he speak too much, maybe he will be exposing a lot. So he make it short. Because he knows that these people are, do not agree. He understands that Ruto has come here for his own campaign. He knows. Because he has been part of the script. But today, he is no longer. He has been kicked out. So definitely, in Ruto's visit to mail, people are going to see all this. And they will learn that the Shagwa is still recognized in the Mount Kenya. He is their leader in Mount Kenya. <laughs> so, those who are unhappy with the Gashagwa, they should learn on how to deal with the Gashagwa. This is the same Gashagwa who used every means possible to convince William Root that it is on him who should get that ticket as a running event. That it is on him who should get that endorsement. How did he maneuver his way? It is something they have to go and check in. Aliweza Haji. This man, when it comes to piano, is also good. When it comes to organizing people to perform, he does it well. And that is one of his scripts that he might be using in mail and elsewhere. And the question is, is it working for him? Going by the mayor event, yes. This seems to be working for him. I don't know your views, but let us be in the comment section to continue with this discussion. Thank you so much. And we are in a village setup. So when you hear chicken making noise, hey, we could waste time. So that is it. Thank you. See you in our next video.